Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 1611. Dear Lord, there are nearly endless places I could run to for comfort and joy, yet they all turn out to be wells that run dry. However, you, O Lord, never cease to refresh me. In your presence is the fullness of joy. I want to remain beside you all the days of my life so I can experience the true meaning of heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. My friends, welcome to your meditative prayer on becoming present. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Again, our goal for today's meditative prayer is all about becoming present. So let's just hit pause for a minute. Maybe head to a comfortable spot and prepare to set aside time to be with God. Set aside your daily stresses and anxieties. Maybe just take this time right now to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and then exhale out. Now enter into God's presence and concentrate on receiving what the Holy Spirit has for you. Today we'll be meditating on Psalm chapter 16, verse 11 from the King James Version. It says, Thou will show me the path of life, for in thy presence is the fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Right now, just take a moment to pour out your adoration to God, who is our joy. God, I give you praise, for your word is eternal. You are the source of my joy, my strength, and my salvation. God, you are good, and all good gifts come from you. In your presence, I find everything I need. I praise you, because you are the everlasting God, who has prepared an eternal home for me. Contentment is found in God. In life, we want not only to be present, but to be content. As we take in the world around us, we want to experience fulfillment. We desire to delight ourselves in God's creation and experience joy. For God has designated a path by which you can live life to its fullest. That path is in the presence of God, in the constancy of the Holy Spirit and a life lived at the feet of Jesus. You see, when you commit your life to seeking God's presence, all other things will be added unto you. You do not have to attract happiness or material wealth. Instead, you need to allow yourself to be attracted to the Heavenly Father, the giver of all good gifts that you experience here on earth. And Jesus is the way by which you receive all the goodness that God has for you. So right now, today, God has joy and pleasure prepared for you. Search no longer. Come to God right now with your sins and confess them before him. Seek the Lord while he may be found and let his joy be your strength and delight in his presence. Now let's just take a few minutes Now let's just take a few minutes just to dwell on the life God has prepared for you. Think of past situations where you have delighted in his presence and thank the Holy Spirit for showing you the path that leads to life. Thank him for the pleasures that he has allowed you to experience and look forward to. Thank him because no matter the season you're in, you can always seek God and thank God that he allows you into his presence and draws you near with his love. My friends, God is present and he is listening to you. So right now, this is your opportunity to seek God's presence, asking him to help you find contentment in your daily activities. Ask him to give you an appreciation for the wonder of his creation, to guide your steps towards the path of life. Ask the Holy Spirit for help in recognizing his companionship and to hear his voice more clearly. You see, God delights in blessing you and he wants you to experience the jubilance and joy. Remember, God will teach you his way to live. When you spend time with the Holy Spirit and recognize his presence in your life, 
you will live a life filled with joy and pleasure. This is what Jesus died to give you. He sent the Holy Spirit to show you how to live and what would make you happy. So do not waste the precious time that you have today looking for things that won't make you happy or content. Instead, look for God. And my friends, trust that he is where. Look for God and trust that he is where true contentment and fulfillment are found. My friends, thank you for completing today's meditative prayer on pray.com. By incorporating this healthy habit as a daily practice, I believe you're making prayer a priority and strengthening your walk with God. My name is Zach Clinton, Vice President of the American Association of Christian Counselors, and we love being a part of your life. Hey, to find more information, inspiration, help, hope, and encouragement, be sure to visit our website at aacc.net. Again, that's aacc.net. Now let's just take a few minutes just to dwell on the life God has prepared for you. Think of past situations where you have delighted in his presence. And thank the Holy Spirit for showing you the path that leads to life. Thank him for the pleasures that he has allowed you to experience and look forward to. Thank him because no matter the season you're in, you can always seek God. And thank God that he allows you into his presence and draws you near with his love. My friends, God is present and he is listening to you. So right now, this is your opportunity to seek God's presence, asking him to help you find contentment in your daily activities. Ask him to give you an appreciation for the wonder of his creation, to guide your steps towards the path of life. Ask the Holy Spirit for help in recognizing his companionship and to hear his voice more clearly. You see, God delights in blessing you and he wants you to experience the jubilance and joy. Remember, God will teach you his way to live. When you spend time with the Holy Spirit and recognize his presence in your life, you will live a life filled with joy and pleasure. This is what Jesus died to give you. He sent the Holy Spirit to show you how to live and what would make you happy. So do not waste the precious time that you have today looking for things that won't make you happy or content. Instead, look for God and trust that he is where true contentment and fulfillment are found. My friends, thank you for completing today's meditative prayer on pray.com. By incorporating this healthy habit as a daily practice, I believe you're making prayer a priority and strengthening your walk with God. My name is Zach Clinton, Vice President of the American Association of Christian Counselors, and we love being a part of your life. Hey, to find more information, inspiration, help, hope, and encouragement, be sure to visit our website at aacc.net. Again, that's aacc.net.